there was a bunch of chat going by but uh one thing uh chad was asking me um on sensor tube that uh you know if i had a chance if i could reply to this and he posted it again the question so i'm just gonna read that and give you my take i haven't really thought about it too much because i was listening to eric levy but this is a question uh chad the uh, sensor was asking so odd i had just asked you about assange the other day also i turned 32 today happy birthday chad what advice would you give yourself at my age ah oh, man chad what advice i would give you at my age uh don't sell amazing spider-man number seven what are you crazy <laughs> because i sold an amazing spider-man number seven for 45 dollars like 20 something years ago and that would have been around the early 30s uh, so don't sell those those comics uh do sell you know some of the other ones uh and don't sell some of the other ones uh what advice would i give you i know uh, you want this to be serious and whatnot um the advice i would give uh what a book do i know <laughs> yikes the <laughs> controller said uh i had bought it by the way i had bought amazing spider-man number seven i had bought it for five dollars and i sold it for 45 nine times my money in a matter of two years right so you know you do what you do <laughs> don't do it uh, but what advice would i give my 32 year old self uh don't be afraid uh of engaging people that you're attracted to right uh, don't be a player but uh be uh be authentic and that's one thing I, I've, I've always been and that's one thing i keep, i always kept on reminding myself to be who i am be authentic don't put on a show don't put on an act just be yourself uh i would tell myself not to drink as much uh that's for sure uh don't drink as much um uh be a little bit more frugal than i was uh, I wasn't really frugal when I was 32 or 20s or 30s. Uh, I lived it up. Uh, but then again, not being frugal is the reason I am who I am now, right? Um, I would still say, you know, stay close to family. Make sure you show them respect and whatnot. I'm trying to go back to 30, you know, when I was 32. For me, it was a shit show going on. Uh, tell you the truth uh, it was insanity uh, live it up uh, I would say and I did live it up uh, because you're only 32 once you're only 33 once you're only 31 once but you're only at a young age when you can do certain things that the body can recuperate from um, right so there are certain things that I was doing at 30s uh, that I wouldn't do right now because if I ended up injuring myself, it would take a lot longer to recoup from that injury. Okay. Uh, it, diversify your investments maybe a little bit. Let things ride. Don't go in a wave. Uh, it's hard to say, Chad. It really is hard to say, right? Uh, Elder God, I would tell my 32-year-old self to not be such a gigolo haha -ha. <laughs> gino <laughs> i would say like for me personally i would say uh, but i can't say because i'm very happy of uh, about who i am right now and who i am right now was how was sort of a reflection of how i lived back then right i, I it would have been nice for me to date a little bit more but i was too busy partying it up to date more on a more serious dates right so it, it's hard to say chad hard to say hard to say hard to say uh yeah but i would say check the fucking water everywhere you go so you don't get sick like you did in india <laughs> again hilarious <laughs> ronnie are we doing hope you're doing well i'm late what did i miss you missed the julian assange party stream uh i posted a news article as soon as it came out uh, about assange nice ronnie nice a real blue flame special <laughs>